Hello world, making another video Friday in the COVID-19 pandemic worldwide. Let's do some Google Apps Script coding. A couple weeks ago, I made a video where I was pulling all of the data from the CSS EGI data files that they have on GitHub, processing that and then dumping it all into a spreadsheet. I thought I would continue on with that, but I didn't want to erase all the data that I had. So I wrote a little bit of a function to grab the last date updated range and update from there. The only thing I realize is that we're going to have to add two new columns, a latitude and longitude, because in the files themselves, they've added those two columns. And if we want to make sure that if the file has latitude and longitude data, we want to actually include it. So let's just take a look at the code. I've already written all the code, so I'm just going to quickly go over everything. And we have our last entry is February 20th. So what we're doing is we're going to get the last date updated range. And I wrote, I broke that off into its own function because it is a little bit, it requires that I use the uh, get date range that I wrote in the last video, which is no problem because all we're gonna do then do is take the last date, we're gonna add one, reset it to a date, and then pass it into the get date range, which formats the date just the way we need it using utilities.formatDate and then returns it all as one array of uh, strings. So that looks like, I'll write a quick test here. I cannot type and think at the same time. So let's uh, get date range. And let's see what that looks like. Um, Again, const, this is part of the V8. And the new feature where logs take about 20 seconds to display, that's also a new feature, quotes, of uh, the V8. So here's what this looks like. If we don't pass in a starting date, however, what we're doing with this uh, get last updated range is passing in the last date plus one. So that hopefully makes sense because what we're then doing next is we're gonna build all of those requests, just looping through every date, grabbing them all CSV, and we're using fetch all so it can just do them synchronously. Wait, is that, does them all asynchronously? <laughs> one at a time, and then we process all of those responses once they're all, once all of them have returned. So it happens much more quickly than one after another. We're running one fetch, get the response, send out next fetch, get the response, and then concatenating them all together. We want to avoid that. So we're just going to do them all at once, process them, and then add them to the sheet. Let's go ahead and send it off and see what we have here. We should add some new days. And there we go. We've now added new dates in there. Now, I'm gonna keep uh, going with this. I'm gonna try to push everything into Data Studio and make a few, because once I send all this data over to Data Studio as we process it to, to kind of visualize it a little bit more. Um, oh, there we go. We can actually find where the latitudes and longitudes start. Um, yeah, right here on the March 1st, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, 
because it's giving you totals for every day. If we want to look at the change, that's going to be that's going to take a little bit of math, right? Because we're going to want to see the difference between March 1st in Hubei, 66, 66.9, and then on the 29th in Hubei, if we can even find it without a search. Yeah, Hubei, 66.3, um, right? So the change there is about 600, but if we are just going to use the aggregations that are built in, I think what it's going to do is take all the dates and then aggregate all of the, just sum the numbers with no thought about what they actually mean. So we're going to have to write some calculations to process that, which will be uh, fun, a little bit of a challenging, hopefully interesting. And you might see at the bottom, see Goodreads, that's coming up in a future video. I'm going to uh, practice pulling in data from the Goodreads API and see what we can do just to keep experimenting, learning, and using our time wisely during the social distancing of COVID-19, um, which I hope everyone is handling well. Cheers, everybody. Talk to you soon.